Hello, YouTubers. It's Champion DJK coming at you again with a, another 10 Car Tuesday episode and another one where we feature some really cool Johnny Lightning. Uh, my collection of Johnny Lightning is just growing and growing. Um, just a uh, really cool collection of cars. Uh, we're going to start actually with some newer Johnny Lightning. This is a limited one of 2500. This is your 1968 AMC Javelin SST. Uh, this is from Classic Gold 2018 Release 3, so fairly new. Um, there's your classic facts there. The Classic Gold series of Johnny Lightning is probably my favorite. Um, it just features cars that have uh, really good details and rubber tires generally, and they just they look just really good. And Round 2 especially has done quite a great job with the Johnny Lightning brand. And... Uh, just making some really nice versions of these Johnny Lightning toolings that have been around for quite a while, but now we're getting the uh, the round two love. So here it is, and it and it really does uh, look uh, pretty fantastic here. I like it quite a bit in black here. I like the wheels on it are great. It is metal on metal. Um, you got, of course, details all the way around, as all Johnny Lightning cars would have. Uh, even silver trim in the windows and stuff like that. This one has an opening hood. You can see the motor, which is fairly detailed. On the inside, hood shuts very nicely. And it is just a very nice looking little uh, replica of this car. So, really cool there. Let's go ahead and take a look at another one. This is actually the same car. <clears throat> this is version B in frost white. And they did more than just give it a different color. It's actually got different trim is what it looks like. And it has different wheels. And here's your, uh, you can read the classic facts if you want to. I love that they put this information on the side of the card. <clears throat> It is really cool. I wish they would put it, though, where when I open this up, it doesn't completely destroy it. Because even though I'm an opener of cars, it would be cool to retain some of that information, that printed information. So I wish they just they, they put it somewhere else on the card other than right here. But I do still like, I like the packaging being cardboard and all that jazz. I don't like the plastic bubble packaging, like the like green light stuff i don't really like that packaging uh so these look nice the wheels look nice bf goodrich tires very nice looking car again same type of construction same engine detail and here's the two kind of together and i think they make a pretty cool pair uh, i think i prefer the black one the white one does look pretty neat though just nice looking, nice job from round two on these two cars. All right, so the next one, the next stuff we're going to look at is all going to be a little bit older Johnny Lightning. This is 1967 Plymouth GTX. This is from Mopar Muscle Magazine series. Uh, Mopar Muscle, this came out in 2005 is the copyright date. Um, if you want to read that, you can go ahead and pause it. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. So this one's cardboard, and then it comes with a card. Some art on it. Uh, which is kind of a neat way of doing the packaging, because they make this like cardboard here, I think, pretty much all the same, except for the name of the car. And then they, they make the card art unique by including this little card in there. So here it is. And take it out of the package. Pretty cool little tooling. Again, we get details all the way around. Painted details. Rubber tires. Pretty nice looking red color. Metal body, metal base. Has an opening hood. Pretty easily opens to reveal a engine with some molding molded detail, but no 
extra color or anything in there. And it's a pretty cool little car. Definitely dig it. This is the first of this particular tooling that I have in my collection from Johnny Lightning, which their tooling catalog is vast. There are a lot of cars. All right, sticking with the Mopar, we've got the 1967 Plymouth Barracuda. I believe this is from the exact same series. Go ahead and open it up. Got the card there and the car. So it's a 67 Cuda. Pretty cool. There's nothing on the back of these, by the way. I don't know if I showed it. So there's that. And then here is the car itself. I like these wheels from Johnny Lightning. They've used them a bunch, and I do like them. Uh, again, we get plenty of detail. Silver trim. All really nicely done. Painted detail. Here's a look at the base. Metal base. Uh, this one also has an opening hood, but it's going to be a little bit harder to get at because it's sort of recessed. I need to make like a little hood opening tool to use in these videos. I can easily just hook and open the tool. I need like a soft, maybe like a thin guitar pick would actually work quite well, which I should have handy, but I don't have it right now in this room. But anyway, so we're not going to get a look at the motor on this car because I can't get the hood open. But you can take a look at the, the tooling, and I think the tooling is uh, quite fantastically done and looks really good. Now, the one thing to argue about Johnny Lightning is they are they do run a little bit small. This is going to be a little bit smaller than a 164 scale car. Most of them are, I should say. I just realized the interior is kind of painted a cool blue color just like the exterior as well i don't know if that's painted or it's actually molded in that plastic it almost looks like it's actually painted so that's kind of interesting that's a cool one though very nice and keeping her going here we got another mopar muscle this is the 1966 dodge charger same series there's the card pretty cool and here's the car which looks great in black really nice there's a look at the front end here's a look at the details on the rear looks great Your silver trim, gloss black, metal body, metal base. Opening hood. This one's really easy to get to. Let's see if you can get a look into there. Looks all right. Got Goodyear Eagle tires. That is a nice looking replica as well. Paint looks good on it. The quality's good. That's a nice car. I like it quite a bit. All right, so there's that one. Now moving on, we got... Uh, next is going to be one more Mopar car, but this is in the Holiday Classics 2006. These Holiday Ornament Classics. These come with a grip clip so you can hang your cars on your tree, which is not something I'll ever do. But not with these, anyway. And uh, although you could use them on a Hot Wheels and put some Hot Wheels, maybe I'll do that for my um, my boy for Christmas next year. Save some of those clips, put some Hot Wheels on the tree. Uh, the paint on these Holiday Classics cars is fantastic. It is a chrome kind of Spectre Flame type paint. You got Holiday Classic 2006 printing on the tires. You got detail all around. Opening hood on this one. Which hopefully will shut decent. It shuts pretty good. There's a little bit of a gap there where it comes up. I wonder if I can if I shut it a couple times. I can get it to close a little bit better. But I think it's kind of stuck like that. Detail all the way around. The paint job though is beautiful. 
the base is chromed too. Very nice. So I got one more from the Holiday Classic series to take a look at, and that would be this one right here, the 1965 Ford Mustang 2 Plus 2 Fastback. Again, Holiday Classics 2006. A little hanger thing. Get the packaging out of the way. And again, we've got this beautiful chrome finish red chrome finish Ooh, wanted to look at that motor motor's got a lot of detail on it actually too it's like painted almost looks like it's got like a wash on it where you can actually see a lot more details in the motor that's actually fantastic looking um and again just the the paint job is really nice really nicely done holiday classics 2006 in the tires again for this one you know, there's a little bit of paint weirdness going on where you can where you can see a bit of the chrome finish underneath. But all in all, a very good looking car. This one is metal body, metal base. It does have a white interior, but I don't think it's a white lightning. Actually, the other one had a white interior. I don't think there actually were white lightnings in this series. I could be wrong, but I know some of them, not all series of Johnny Lightning actually did have chase cars. So there's not white lightning versions of every car. And I think the Holiday Series was one of those series that did not have a chase in it. I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive that they did not. All right, that's really nice. The last three that we got are some pretty sweet ones in their GTOs. Starting with this one here, this is the 1967 Pontiac GTO in the Street Freaks Spoiler Series. Uh, this particular one came out, I think, 2005, so it's not that old. I'll go ahead and open it up. These came with a card as well. Johnny Lightning spoilers. And here is this GTO. Pretty awesome. Uh, it's got a very nice kind of candy orange finish. It's got a gold interior. The motor up here is actually metal. So metal on metal, the motor is metal. It's got plastic tires. But if you're gonna have plastic tires, these ones aren't bad ones to have. So the rims look pretty decent. But that is kind of a cool one. Johnny Lightning just, again, is just a very interesting brand to collect. They really ha are an eclectic brand. They've got a lot of just different things going on, including this here. This is a 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge. And this one has a bonus sticker in it, which is cool. It's a Lightning Rod. Lightning Rods was the series this was. Um... Again, they just did some really interesting things. This is one of them. Uh, this was 2009 copyright date. So, fairly newer. This one also has plastic tires. I'm trying to get to the uh, bonus sticker. Kind of look at that way. Trying to get to this sticker in here. Oh, crazy. <laughs> that's cool so not only is it a bonus uh, sticker it is a bonus puffy sticker <laughs> that's pretty cool so Johnny Lightning's done some weird stuff man they've put some weird stuff in their packaging including that and just came out with some just really interesting just like I said a really interesting and eclectic brand to collect very neat stuff. This one again, the motor is metal. The car is metal. The base is metal. The wheels are plastic. But again, not bad looking plastic wheels. A very nice kind of chrome finish again on this car. And just overall good presentation and I think a good look for this GTO. Really cool. I actually like this one quite a bit. I think that is pretty awesome. 
What do you guys think of that one? I dig it. All right. And then lastly, this one is pretty cool, too. This is in the Johnny Lightning Classic Plastic Series. And this is a 71 Pontiac GTO Super Stocker. And again, very cool. So this is a neat series where they made die-cast replicas of model kits. So you know, as you know, um, round two... And I don't know a lot of the company history, okay, between Johnny Lightning and changing hands and how they relate to, like, possibly AMT. And I know Round 2 now, like, owns, I think, like, all of those companies, uh, AMT, uh, um, what you call it, a all that stuff. They do a, a lot of model kits. They do a bunch of other stuff. You just go to autoworldstore.com. You can see all of that. But... So this is kind of a neat thing. This is, uh, it comes with a box that shows the model kit. As you could build it. Um, so it's just a neat little extra again in the packaging. I think you could probably fit the car in here and store it in here if you wanted to. Uh, not with the plastic thing that holds it, but, but there you go. One thing you might notice about this right away is that base is painted white and yes, this is a white lightning version of this car now the regular version i believe did have white rims uh, yeah it definitely did uh, but the regular version had a black interior and a plain metal base this one has a white painted metal base and a white interior and is the white lightning of this car so two percent of whatever production line that this one was and they didn't number their packaging uh, back then i didn't say how many they were limited to so you really have no idea how many of these white lightnings really are out there and i don't know where to find reliable information on that there's a few places online to find information about johnny lightnings but i don't think still there's production numbers i don't think are there um this car does sit a little bit wonky and doesn't roll all that well but it is a cool looking car but unfortunately the hood doesn't quite want to sit down all the way which is a problem that you do have with some opening hoods so in the front there you see that so this car will look pretty cool on display from the side but it's not going to be one that I'm going to be able to take really cool pictures of and mostly because of that gap right there I don't know if that's fixable or not it's kind of a bummer But there you go. I got to shut down a little bit more. I think it's part of the way that the windshield is sitting in there that's blocking it from shutting all the way. I might play with it a little bit more off camera at some point, but for right now, really no point. Still a cool looking car. Very, very cool looking. I like the retro look to it. Just looks really, really neat. There's some flaws in it little paint flaw right there on the rims there's slight paint flaws in the front of the hood the hood doesn't of course close all the way and it's not really sitting down level the wheels are the tires I think are almost like too thick for this tooling but still a cool looking car definitely dig it all right so that's that's all 10 cars for this 10 car uh, Tuesday more Johnny Lightning goodness. Hopefully I just can keep it rolling with Johnny. I picking up some more cool stuff. I seem to I seem to come across, you know, almost monthly some really neat ones. So really like this chrome painted holiday series. Those just look really nice. The only thing I actually don't like about them is the fact that they say Holiday Classics 2006 right on the tires. Like, they don't need to do that. I don't know. What's your favorite one of the episode? For me, it's actually kind of hard to say. I think it might even be this one. It would have been this one, but the problems with the casting kind of shy me away from saying that's my favorite. But they're, these are all actually really nice really nice cars 
So very, very cool. All right. So thanks again for watching. Thanks for enjoying another uh, 10 car Tuesday. This is a 20 minute one. So it's kind of a long one, but hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, thank you very much. Have a good day.